Now I will talk of a temple town. Earlier I spoke of the administrative town. Now this same administrative town Thanjavur is an also an example of the temple town. The kings used to build beautiful huge temples to show their wealth, power and authority. And these temples used to become a place where there used to be a lot of social and economic activity. It used to become a hub of even the cultural activity. So when lot of money was generated, when lot of pilgrims used to come to this place, that is the time that the temple authorities started financing money for various activities. Now the pilgrims needed so many services and all these were being provided by the people who slowly got settled in or near the temple. And the example of such temples is the temple towns are the Bhilisa in Madhya Pradesh, we have Somnath, we have Kanchipuram and so on. These were the various temple towns which emerged in this period. But these temple towns which took up the shape of pilgrimage started becoming townships in themselves. And these pilgrimage centers if I talk of then you know Vrindavan is the best example of the pilgrimage. I also talk of Ajmer and Tiruvanmalai. Ajmer is also the example of religious coexistence because the great Sufi saint Khwaja Moinuddin Chishti's mosque and also the Pushkar temple of the Hindus coexist in this city. So it's a beautiful example where two religions have coexisted since many centuries. This was about the temple towns and the pilgrimage centers. But now let me talk about the small towns which were there at that time. The small towns were more or less like the small towns that we have today. They probably emerged from a large village. They had a mandi as we have today wherein lots of grains are sold and bought. They also had a hut where the people used to go and buy their day to day needs. Then there used to be streets of various professions that is of oil pressers, of cobblers, of blacksmiths and so on. And that street used to be called on the name of the profession of the people, those who got settled there. Then generally the person who was head or in charge of these small towns was a big Samanta who had got this land as a grant and he fortified this place and generally he used to collect the revenue himself. But sometimes he used to also donate small piece of land to the temple that is he used to give the donation to the temple so that they could collect revenue and this used to be recorded and it used to be there on papers and some of it we have been able to trace even today.